Dr. Martin Luther King was here today, he would have stood right beside us. He would have been in every single march. What's ironic is that when he was alive, he didn't have to deal with this social issue. He didn't have to deal with this policy because nobody back then in government would have ever thought of implementing social policy. I find a double standard of the fact that while the mayor is saying and the Department of Education is saying we don't think it's a good idea to have houses of worship in public schools because somehow our children are going to be confused. I saw one of the young people come by with a sign that says, I am not confused. Our young people are not confused. They know exactly what takes place in school. Matter of fact, they're not there in weekends. They're too busy having fun and playing PlayStation and all the other games. And so, uh, he, he, but here's what's ironic. Here's the double standard. The double standard is that now, uh, the Board of Ed is, is caught in a double standard that they have right now schools meeting in Catholic churches. So how come it is well for our children to be renting, and I think it's a great idea from uh, Catholic congregation facilities to have public schools to take place, but it's not okay for our, our houses of worship to meet uh, in essentially in the public school. Uh, I'm happy to join with Councilmember Cabrera. Councilman Cabrera is, 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 a, is a man who does not scream all the time. Someone who does not take an issue, no matter what it is, and come up and, and yell about it. It's someone who believes very strongly in this issue because it is unfair. He's a religious man, and as he mentioned, New Yorkers are religious people. And we need to not discriminate against people just because they're affiliated with a religious organization. It's outrageous. Uh, New York City schools rent space to anyone, and they should be renting to anyone. And to pick out religious organizations to say, you can't rent it and we can't take your money, is just an outrage. And I commend him for, for speaking out on this, for, for putting himself out front on this issue, because he believes so strongly about it. And it's just a matter of fairness. He mentioned I'm joined today, this is Max Gallagher, who is council member for a day. I'm not speaking on his behalf, but he's happy to join me here today to get an experience of what it's like to when you see injustice and you see something wrong, you have to speak out. Um, and even if you uh, agree with the mayor on many issues, you could disagree with him on this one and say, he's wrong in this and the DOE is wrong because you're hurting us. You're costing us money and you're discriminating against people, making it more difficult for them to meet and to practice their religious beliefs and not to force religious beliefs on anyone, but just to allow them to rent like everyone else is doing. So I'm proud to be here today and join with this group and to say how outraged I am as well. Thank you. Thank you.